Thanks so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today. I don't have a joke today, unfortunately, so <laughs> sorry, but um, today's video is going to be a reading vlog, a little bit of a reading vlog, a little bit of a writing vlog, and um, some self-care stuff because it is finals month. Um, I Like it was finals week, technically it's next week, but then there was a lot of final stuff I had to do this week with, um, I had to do two really big presentations on my research and then I had to answer questions on my research and then I had to turn in a really big first draft of one of my research papers. So it has been really overwhelming with school, which is why I haven't been posting. Um, and also, you know, I haven't been doing super, super well and I've gotten some messages asking me about it and I'm just not doing super well. Today is Friday and I let my boss know that I'm not doing super well and he was so sweet and told me to take a long weekend to really take care of myself and he said mental health is number one priority to me which was so sweet so um today's Friday and I thought about it and I was like oh maybe you should just like stay home and work on your papers like your finals but that feels like I'm not actually taking a day off, you know, I, I'm not doing very well and I, um, I want to make sure that I'm actually taking this long weekend to take care of myself for a little bit of it. So I did the doctor's appointment this morning, which went well. Um, and then before that I did a little bit of exercise. I did some cardio, which also felt good. And now I'm actually gonna go on a little mini road trip to Big Sur by myself. I haven't been to Big Sur in three or four years at this point, but it's one of the prettiest places in California to me. Um, and so I actually loaded up my Nikon FM film camera. I have not used this camera in maybe a year and a half because I haven't really needed to use it while we've been inside. I just haven't found a reason to take pictures. And so I've loaded up my camera with some Kodak 400 and I'm gonna take this with me to Big Sur to take some pretty pictures and listen to the waves and just kind of have a day for myself. And, you know, when I got a day off, I was like, oh, I should spend it productively. But the point of a day off is to actually take a minute. And well, that's at least what I want to use it for, you know, take a minute and breathe and just, you know, kind of try to sort some stuff out with myself. So on this little road trip, because Big Sur, is more of like more of a scenic place or for me, I'm not going to like hike anywhere and I'm not really going to the beach, but there are a few places that you can kind of just sit and kind of hang out at. And so I'm bringing some books and I'm gonna figure out which book I'm gonna read while I'm there. So the first option is the dating plan for something kind of light and romantic. Um, this is on my May TBR and I don't know if I'm in the mood for something light and romantic or like something thrilling and distracting. So those are the next two books, but this is option one. Then I have The Maidens, which I'm really anxious to get to because um, I really liked The Silent Patient and I don't know how his second book is gonna be. I think this is a second book, um, but I I don't know what to think. I'm, I'm excited to get to it. I'm nervous to get to it. And so we'll see how this one goes if I start it today, or I'm gonna start Severance. Um, I've heard such good things about Severance. So I really wanna start this one, but then this one is an arc and I want to read it before June when it actually comes out so that I can recommend it to all of you or let you know what I thought in general um, before it actually comes out. But then I'm like, well, what about the romance, right? Like maybe something light. So I'm gonna bring all three of these to decide from, um, but I'm gonna have them all regardless. I'm gonna bring my film camera. I'm gonna bring my fruit strips. These are my favorite Target snacks right now. They're so, so yummy. We actually, this week, I put all of them in a flower vase so that they're more accessible because they were in these really awkward boxes for a long time. And now they're really easy to just pick them out. Um, that was my one good idea this week. Um, so anyway, that's what this vlog is gonna be. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I love Big Sur. It is so stunning and I love long drives and I kind of just need that, you know? I need to like listen to some music and sing really loud and 
go like be in nature for a second. Anyway, I'm going to go now. I'm gonna bring you along and kind of show you the coast. And yeah, I hope it's a fun vlog. I hope this is interesting. Um, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I'm going to give a little shout out to Squarespace now. And then when we get back, I will have some big surf footage. So hope you guys all like this vlog and here we go. All right, thanks so much again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. As you all know, I've been working with Squarespace for the past couple months. And in the last video, I talked about the email marketing tools. Before that, I talked about some of the selling tools. And today, I thought it would be cool to look at the website analytics. So on this page, you can see the traffic and trends on your page, right? Like you can see how many visits you're getting, unique visitors, page views. You can look at traffic sources. You have all these cool little graphs and you can see where people are coming from. You can look at the site content and then you can even look at the commerce analytics. So you can see like if you do set up an online shop, you can see how many of each unit is selling, what products doing the best and the worst. Um, and it's just really cool. You have so many options here if you want to look at your specific analytics for your site and then also how your online shop is doing if you decide to set up a shop through Squarespace. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Noelle Gallagher to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again, Squarespace. I just got home from Big Sur. I didn't end up reading anything. I just stopped at Briggs Brigsby Bridge, Briggsby Bridge, and then stopped and hung out with some cows. And uh, that's really all I did. The drive is like two hours there and two hours back. So I was like, you know what? I went, I got some fresh air. I got to like watch the waves and then I decided to head home. So I'm home now, it is 4.30, and actually some interesting, fun news. One of my best friends, his name is Billy, him and I are fully vaccinated now, and we have not seen each other or hung out in a year. Um, I think we've seen each other like twice because we were like dropping stuff off with each other, but we haven't actually spent any time together in over a year, and so, um, he texted me right when I got home and was like, hey, do you want to hang out? And I was like, yes. So we're going to hang out in my backyard just because I feel like that's smart to like, I don't know. I know it's fine if we hang out inside because of, I think the CDC said that, like you can be maskless inside with people now, but I just feel like it's smarter and it's really nice outside and I have a hammock. So it's like a cool little outdoor space. So anyway. That's what's gonna happen. I haven't seen him in a year. Well, I haven't hung out with him in a year. Really excited, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go to my mom's house. I don't know what we're gonna eat, but we're not gonna watch anything because watching stuff has been really, it's made me really restless lately. Um, and my mom knows this. And so she was like, why don't we do a puzzle? We'll like do a puzzle and we'll all get to talk and we'll have some music playing and we'll just like eat some food. So it sounds amazing. And yeah, I didn't read anything while I was gone because I didn't really like stop long enough to read. Um, but, um, you know, I'm going to read at some point. Anyway, that's it. Really excited to see Billy. It's been a long time and that's it. I'm also going to chug like a gallon of water because I'm dehydrated. So that's what I'm gonna do. Happy Friday, my friends. It's been a good day so far. Woo! Yeah. 
think I've checked in with you today, even though it's like 3 p.m. Uh, this morning I went to a bakery, my mom's favorite bakery called Icing on the Cake in Los Gatos. I went to the bakery with my brother and my mom and it was really sweet. And then I hung out at my mom's house all day. I took a nap and not feeling too good. So I decided to get out of the house and come to the Rose Garden. It's sunny, it's breezy, and I have my book, which is Severance. Very exciting. I'm on chapter nine, so page 107. Making some good time on this, honestly. I'm, I'm reading it pretty fast. Um, it's really, really interesting, and I really like how it's told, so I'm gonna bring my blanket to the rose garden, find a patch of grass to just lay out on and let the breeze drift me away. That's the updates I have. Time to go read. Saturday night. Um, I went to the Rose Garden and I did a bunch of reading, which was really great. And then I went to my mom's house and just kind of hung out. We got Thai food and then my mom and I ran over to Barnes and Noble to find a few books that I was looking for. And so I should have brought my camera for that, but I totally forgot it at home. Um, so instead, just to give you a quick update, I am really, really loving this book. I love the way it's told. Um, it's not just like a straight up pandemic type of book. Um, it's like, it slices in like some chapters will be from like a worldwide outbreak and then other chapters will be like just a day at the office. And so it's been really, really interesting to have this really like cool story play out. So I'm, I'm really, really liking this. Really love just the writing and the narrator for the audiobook is really, really good too. So. Overall, really enjoying it. Now I'm going to take a shower, but I thought it'd be fun to show you the hair products I use. I don't know why this sounds fun to me, but I thought it would be interesting. We're in my shower now. The first thing I use is the Olaplex shampoo. It's pretty pricey for shampoo and conditioner, but um, I've been using it for like two months now and I've only used that much. So like that, you know, like, an inch maybe. Um, but anyway, so I use the shampoo and then because my hair is now like a lighter ginger color, I have been using this Caracolor Color Plus Clenditioner in the color copper and it's like pigmented. So um, you put it on your hair. Like when my hair started to turn a little yellow and not as orange, um, I put some of that on my hair for like, it's between like five and 20 minutes. And I put some of that on like all of it. And then I use the Olaplex, which it's like, it's more of a strengthening, like repairing conditioner. And I put this just on the ends. So this helps me stay more orange and this helps the health of my hair. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. When I get out of the shower, I immediately use It's a 10. It's some spray and leave-in conditioner. I like the one with the yellow top, but the one with the purple top is also great. But I prefer the yellow top more. Um, so I spray this all over. And then because like my hair is like really, I don't know, when, when you use this, it like takes all the volume out of your hair because it makes it like so shiny. And so to give it a little more texture to it so that when I wake up, like my hair has actual like volume to it and like movement to it, I also put in the Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel by IGK. So you put that all and I kind of like scrunch it into the bottom of my hair and then it gives it some curl and it's just so that like when I wake up the next morning, it's not super flat, but <laughs> that's my hair regimen. And tonight is a hair washing night. So I'm gonna do the whole routine 
and just like really take care of my hair tonight, which is always like, you don't want to spend, you know, like when you don't want to spend that much time showering, but then when you actually get started, you're like, oh, it's like a sauna in here. I never want to get out. So tonight is a hair care night. So anyway, that's it. That's my update. <laughs> okay, check in later. Good morning, everyone. The last time I checked in with you, I was doing my hair care routine, or I was telling you about it, I guess. And look, look at the volume, look at the movement, look at the volume. <laughs> I don't know what the third word I was gonna use is. Um, but again, the it's a 10 makes it all soft and smooth, but then the IGK rich kid, like coconut oil gel thing gives you some movement back into your hair, you know? So loving it. Love how it makes my hair feel and look in the morning. That's what I have to say. Um, today is Sunday and my goals for the day, well, there's really only one main goal and that is finishing one of my final papers. I have two final papers um, and I've only started working on one, um, but I'm about halfway done with it. I have like eight pages done. It's supposed to be 15 pages. So I have seven more pages to write and I am out of ideas. <laughs> so it's gonna be quite the day of writing. I am very, very stressed out about it. I'm very worried about it just because I really feel like I've wrung out my idea for this paper. And so everything I write beyond this point is going to feel like filler and like bullshit a little bit. Um, so I'm not super, super stoked for that. But you know what? I have a Sunday. It's due next Sunday, and I thought it would be best if I at least turned in one of the papers this weekend um, so that next weekend I can focus on the other paper, paper completely. Um, and then it's just like off my, it's off my list, you know, it's off my, it's off my chest, it's off my shoulders. I don't know what I'm saying, but I, I wanna turn in that paper today. So that's the goal of today. Again, I have three and a half pages left, or sorry, I have seven pages left, but that's three and a half single spaced. <laughs> um, so I don't know, I guess that's, that's my measurement on this. Um, and before I get started on that paper, I'm gonna go do some cardio, just because I know that if I just start working on the paper now, then like in eight hours when I'm done with it, I'll be like, I'm done with the paper, I don't wanna work out. And um, I haven't been moving very much lately um, and I'm not feeling too good about it. So I need to actually move. I need to get some blood moving. I need a stretch um, and I just need to, you know, do something. Anyway, so that's that. I wanted to show you two of the things that my mom bought me yesterday at Barnes and Noble, which is very sweet of her and I'm very excited. The first thing she bought me was this Zodiac puzzle. So here's the Pisces square. And then all the other zodiac signs are on here. So cool. I think my favorite one is the Capricorn one, this one. And then I really like the Libra one because the hands look really good in that one. But they're all great. I love them all. I think the colors that they chose are so cool. And I just think it's awesome. So yeah, this is from Barnes and Noble. Um, I bought myself a few books, but then my mom knows that I'm going through a tough time right now and she recommended that I start journaling um, and just like use it, use it as a place to truly vent. Not really catalog my day. Um, like whenever I've tried to journal in the past, I always try to be like, today I went here and then I went here and then I saw this person and then I ate this. And I try to make it too much of like a catalog and less about like actually talking about how I feel. And so my mom recommended that I get a journal and that I just use it as a place to like really work through some stuff. Um, and so she bought me a moleskin, super, super sweet. Um, and so she got me this like relaxing kind of like pinkish purple rose color, which I love. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not taking it too seriously because again, like in the past, I've tried to make it too organized and too like formatted. And so I don't keep up with it because then there's like this pressure to make it like this really beautiful thing. And I'd rather use this as really just like a 
a place to sort through some stuff. So that's what I will be using this for, which was very, very sweet of her. I also got some books that I'm hoping will help me through some stuff. So I'll be like using the books to like read and try to like understand some things and then work it out in the journal. That's the hope at least. So anyway, um, that's very cool. Mom, if you're watching this, thank you again for taking me at all, but then also buying me a puzzle and a journal. That was really, really sweet of you. Um, and now I am going to go stretch and get ready for some cardio. And then after that, I'm going to kind of set up the space for productivity. Um, I like to do this that when I have like a big writing day or a big writing night, I try to make it calm. I try to have like a really fresh candle on or like when it's a fall semester, I like to have like my, the fireplace Netflix thing on. Um, and I'm gonna have my reading playlist going. So when I'm done with my ride, I'll kind of set up my space. I'll get some water, I'll get some snacks. Um, I'll light a candle and I'll just try to make it like a really relaxing place so that, you know how like sometimes when you start a paper and then you're like, oh, well, I should really clean now. You know, like you're starting to type and then you're looking around and you're like, maybe I tidy up before I get into it. I'm going to do that before I start the actual writing process so I don't have an excuse to not write. Anyway, it is like 11 or 11.15 now. I'm gonna go do this ride and I hope to start writing at 1230 and then just write until the end of the day. And I'm gonna keep my phone away from me. I'm just gonna have my reading playlist going on my Spotify on my phone, on my computer and keep my phone far away from me so that I'm just working on the paper. Hopefully this vlog has been fun. Sorry if it's kind of all over the place, but anyway, gonna go do some cardio, check in afterwards. All right, everyone, I have done my cardio and now I reheated some Thai food from last night and made some rice. So this is lunch. I have the two books that I'm writing on, Ready Player One and Don Quixote. I have some water and I have my vitamins. I actually take them. And today's fact is every 10 days, your taste buds are regenerated. Excellent, let's, uh, let's take these, huh? That was the first time I did like all eight pills at once. Oh Lord. All right, so I think the first course of action is to just read and research for a little bit, collect some quotes, and then I will get into writing. Um, but I have a bunch of articles that I've collected and haven't really read through. And then once I have some great quotes from there, I will begin writing again. So I will check in with you in a little bit, but I'm gonna turn on my reading playlist, eat my food and read, and then I will let you know how it goes. So here we go, wish me luck. Hi everyone, it's me. I It's two hours later and I have written nothing, nothing at all, nothing even, not even a sentence, not even, a quotation mark. There is nothing written down, but I have read like four articles and I got so many quotes. I don't think I'll be using all of the quotes, but I got a lot of them. I got a lot of things. So that feels positive at least. Um, I was specifically focused on criticism or academic work on Ready Player One. And now I am pivoting to critical works on um, Don Quixote. So I'm gonna go collect some more quotes that I could put in. So, oh my God. Edible cookie dough. Yeah, for sure. Wow, uh-huh. Oh my God, if you live in the Bay Area, go to Icing on the Cake in Los Gatos. And, you know, I mean, it's a little little bit of a drive. I'm not saying it's close by, but their edible cookie dough is next level. Oh my Lord. Heaven is a place on earth and it's in this cup. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to reading. Check in later. Parker, look, look at the camera, Mug. Oh my God, that's the cutest thing that will happen all fucking week. <gasps> No kiss. Say hi again. 
Okay, hi everyone. Um, Parker and I are here to tell you that I was able to pull a paragraph out of my ass. <laughs> I figured out a paragraph and it's a long ass paragraph and then the paragraph leads into another paragraph, which I think will lead into one more paragraph. So I'm getting rolling on um, quite a rant in this paper, which is great. This first paragraph, excellent work. I mean, it's a little, it's a little thrown together, but uh, I'm feeling good about what I have to say in it. Um, and I think it makes sense where it is. I kind of just started typing it in the middle of my paper. And then I was like, oh, maybe this doesn't make sense to just like randomly bring it up. Um, but now that I'm like taking a step back, I'm like, actually, this might make sense. I might be able to make the paper kind of morph and like mold to the paragraphs that I'm writing right now. Anyway, I'm not sure that any of this is making sense, um, but I feel great that I've written something at least. And now that I've kind of like, you know, like when you, when you, when you go to your research portion of a research paper, and then you do so much reading of other people's work that you're almost like scared to start your own work. That's how it was feeling all day today. I was like, you know what? Instead of actually writing something, let me just keep reading other people's words. Um, and then I started psyching myself out and was like, well, maybe you don't have anything smart to say, but this paragraph has revived me. Um, and now I have kind of a setup for a good little rant in the center or the the middle, not center, the middle of the pa paper. Um, so I just feel like this rant has kind of geared me up to not being so scared of writing something today. So I'm gonna dive back in. I just wanted to give you an, a writing update. I'm gonna dive back in, see what I can come up with. Um, and now we're at page four and a half. So I only have three pages single spaced left. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so, um, you know, I know that's a weird way to calculate this, but I have three pages left. Maybe I'll just finish one page tonight, but in any case, I will have finished something today and that will feel good. So I'm gonna go back to writing. I will update you if I come up with anything else, but I am I'm feeling more optimistic about this paper than I was an hour ago, okay. Back to writing. I have written like another page. So I have quite a bit of writing done. And as a gift, I'm going to give myself five minutes in the hammock. Five minutes to swirl. I'm feeling so good that I've been writing something. I was really discouraged and now I'm feeling revived. We'll see if I'm able to finish it. I think actually, even if I finish it by the end of today, I'll still, I won't turn it in today so that I can step back for like two days and then come back on like Tuesday or Wednesday to do a full proofreading. So if I turn it in today, there will be mistakes. So anyway, I'm gonna lay here for a little while longer and then go inside. It's a good writing day after all. Hi everyone. It's us now, and it is 8.15. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Okay, sorry, Parker had to go out. So I put him out, and now I'm here to update you on the paper and just an outro clip because it is Sunday night and I wanted this to be like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday vlog. So I'm gonna go and edit this vlog now. Um, but to update you on the paper, uh, it's supposed to be 15 pages. I'm now at 12 pages. So I only have three pages left. And although I have a lot more I can say on things right now, my mind is kind of tapped out. I feel like I've just 
said what I needed to say for the day. I thought, oh, my hope was to finish the paper, but then as you saw, like halfway through the day, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just like write a page, we'll see. Um, so it felt really good to get so close to the end. Um, obviously I need to write a conclusion and there are a few places in my paper that obviously need more research. Um, so like I've written, I've written out my opinions, but I need to back them in more research because it is a research paper. So I will be finishing that sometime this week. Uh, it's due on Sunday. I have another final due this Sunday and I'm feeling very overwhelmed and very stressed. And I've noticed that the night time hours are not very good for me. So um, that's kind of also why I'm calling it right now is I'm not feeling too good right now. And so I think if I just keep staring at my computer, I'm just gonna feel worse. So I'm just gonna call it, but um, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Um, I hope it, I say this in every vlog, but with this vlog, I feel like I actually got too much footage of what I was doing and not enough of me talking. So I hope that I'm able to figure out the balance of like documenting my days while also talking through my days. I don't know, let me know how you liked the format of this vlog and let me know what you're also reading. I'm hoping to finish Severance this week, maybe even by like Wednesday or something. As soon as I turn in this paper, I'm gonna start reading Severance again. And so I'll be finishing it this week. I really, really love the book. I think that it's such a cool way to tell like this apocalyptic story while like you have chapters of like a dystopia mixed with chapters of like regular office life. It's like such an interesting and unique way to tell a story and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, let me know what you did this weekend. Let me know what you're reading and let me know what you'd like to see in the next vlog. Hope to see in the next one. Bye.